the kids legitimately treat me like I'm a celebrity. They will whisper to each other and like prepare themselves to say something to me. Hello everyone. I feel like I have not updated anyone about my life at all. And the reason for that is it was a whole mess. The Cliff Notes version of what happened was I was stuck in Japan because of COVID, even though I was planning to leave Japan. So I was planning to go back home. Then I was planning to go to France to be an au pair. And as you can see, because I'm still in Japan in my apartment, neither of those things happened. As most of you know, I used to work for an Eikaiwa in Japan and uh, I left that job at the end of March and for a period of time I was only working online because of the COVID situation. I was mostly working on italki. I'm not like sponsored by italki or anything, but I love italki. I teach for them and I also take lessons on there. So check it out. So I was working online for a large period of time I didn't find a new job in Japan because I was planning to leave Japan. I was planning to go to France. I think I have mentioned that in the past in videos. I've definitely mentioned it on other platforms, maybe my Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram, this is my Instagram. Please follow me. <laughs> I, I post pretty pictures. Oh, and my website. Yeah, please follow my website or check it out. I definitely mentioned this in my last blog post. I was supposed to go to France on October 2nd and I did not, as you can see. My visa was rejected for France, reasons related to COVID-19. When that happened, I kind of like leapt into action. I actually kind of numbed myself because I knew like I have to find a new job in Japan or go back to America. My my whole interest in life is traveling and experiencing new cultures, learning languages. So I'm not interested in living in America. I'm very interested in visiting my family and friends who I've not seen in forever, but I, I just don't want to live there, so that's why I decided to stay in Japan and in one week I got a new job and then changed my visa status, so yeah, that was crazy. I'm not going to go into detail, but I got a new visa and can stay in Japan legally, so yay for me. My new job is an ALT. If you don't know what an ALT is, it stands for Assistant Language Teacher. It is also sometimes called Assistant English Teacher. So that is my job. I am an Assistant English Teacher at a junior high school in Kyoto. This job is completely different from my old job. I'll make another video comparing the two for anyone who's interested in coming to Japan and is choosing between ALT or a Kaiwa teacher because before I came to Japan, I made that choice. I originally applied to work for my company and I applied for the JET program and I got an interview for the JET program, which I turned down. At the time, everyone in my life <laughs> was like, what have you done? Because the JET program is super competitive and people who are fluent in Japanese like sometimes don't even get an interview for it. So yeah, people judged me hardcore for that. But at the time, I had a few reasons. Uh, one being that JET program, they could put you in the countryside and I wasn't interested in living in the countryside. I wanted to live in a city and I knew that my company could place me in a city. I would definitely live in a city if I worked for my company and that's why I live in Kyoto. I 
don't regret that decision at all. Uh, to be honest, the Aikawa job wasn't right for me and uh, I'll get into it, but my new job is so much better for me and my interests. But I am grateful that I made that choice at the time because I met such incredible people, got to live in Kyoto, and it led me to where I am now, which is uh, as an ALT in Kyoto. So let me tell you about being an ALT. Being an ALT is uh, being an assistant teacher in the classroom with a Japanese English teacher. So I work in the classroom with another teacher who's Japanese. So uh, we both stand in the front of the class together. Of course, he will have control over the class. He knows them, he knows the students well, he's their teacher. Uh, he manages, uh, disciplines them. He controls the pace of the class. But then he will tell me what he expects from me, what he wants me to do. So I recently started this job and every situation is different. I will actually be switching schools two times during this contract. So the situation at my next school could be completely different from this one. But the current situation is super fun for me. My co-teacher found out that I love to sing and told me I could teach the kids a song. So I've been teaching my students how to sing A Whole New World in English. They were all like so shocked that I can actually sing because like I'm a trained singer. It was like I was back to being an actor and having a full audience of kids clapping and cheering for me. and. It's very, very fun. They get excited about it. So yeah, I've been teaching them a song. I think I'm kind of a creative presence in the classroom. He has me brainstorm games, activities for them. So uh, during my free time, I kind of think about different games we can play. And yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not much work at all for an ALT. It's very low stress. Other days when the teacher doesn't have much time for like fun and games, I am used mainly for pronunciation because a lot of Japanese English teachers can't pronounce English like a native speaker. They pronounce it with a strong Japanese accent. They need me um, kind of as a human tape recorder. That's what a lot of ALTs like to call it. I know it's not the most fun part of the job, but I just have a good attitude and I enjoy being in the classroom and helping the main teacher with whatever he needs. So yeah, I don't mind doing that. Just like saying sentences, having the kids repeat. It can be a little repetitive, but as long as in addition to it, I get to contribute my Sorry, I got cut off by a phone call. Um, I'm gonna call her back. But yeah, as long as I get to contribute my creative things, then like I'm super happy about it. So what does the situation look like at the school? It is completely insane for me, like as a foreigner at the school, because it's a Japanese public school. It is all in Japanese. There is no English going on at this school. All Japanese. It is great learning for me, great listening for me. But some days it's really hard because I can't talk to my coworkers like like an adult. Like they don't know me as an adult. I I think they kind of view me as some strange child, like some strange foreign child at the school, one, because I'm pretty young, like I'm much younger than the other teachers, but for the most part, um, and two, because my Japanese is like a child's, it's really basic, so when they try to talk to me, I just, uh, there's, every time they, they use a word that I don't know, so I'm like, uh, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, 
it's challenging, but it motivates me to, to study more. And actually during the day, I have a lot of free time and I can use that for whatever I want. So I have my Genki book at school, at my desk, and I can use that to study and be productive in my free time, which is amazing because I could not do that at my old job. There was no downtime at my old job. Seriously, like it was so stressful. This job, I can totally relax and just help in the classroom. There's nothing to prepare outside of class really. And yeah, just uh, study and do my thing. Not much to it. I just want to talk about my experience as a foreign looking person in this environment. These kids are not used to seeing a foreigner. You may think that it's the 21st century and there are phones and TV and kids are used to foreigners by now. Um, I wish I could like video what is going on in my school when the kids see me because that is not the case. The kids legitimately treat me like I'm a celebrity. Like if I start walking and there's a group of kids, they will whisper to each other and like prepare themselves to say something to me. And usually that thing they say to me is just, hello. <laughs> so they just say hello. I still get it, but definitely during my first week, I got it all the time. Like, oh, kawaii, kawaii. That means like, he was so cute, so cute, or so pretty. I got a lot of, do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? The kids are so funny. Like, they are not shy at all. Like, they're shy to use English a bit, but because like they can't have a conversation in English. They're beginners. I teach first year students, so really beginner. But the the kids like want to to lo know more about me and uh, like interact with me. So yesterday, like the cutest thing happened. I was in the front of the classroom before class started, and I turned around, and this girl was right next to me, like looking up at me, I'm like oh. And she like asked me how many centimeters I am, like how tall I am. Cause in Japan, I'm actually very tall. So I was like, oh, I'm 165, 165. Then all the other kids came over and they were like, oh my God, oh my God, like so cool, so tall. And then I was saying, but in America, like I am short. I like, I'm not tall in America. And their minds were blown. Like they just don't, realize that like they're just so shocked by everything and they were going like this comparing our heights i had so many cute moments at school with the kids like they are just i, I they just bring me so much joy at my old job i didn't really like working with the junior high school students because my job was an after school program like they went to the class in the evening and they were so tired from a full day of school cram school and now English class so my students were usually pretty tired and bored but no now that I get to see them like bright and early in the morning they are full of energy and so excited to like see a foreigner a big part of the job of being an ALT, of course you're going to help them learn English, of course you're going to help teach English, but a really important part of it is just being a positive foreign influence for the kids. A lot of them don't have any exposure to a real foreigner. You'll be the only foreigner that they interact with. So I go to work and I think, yeah, my job today is just to make a good impression and to make the kids excited about English and other cultures. And sometimes all I need to do is just show up. Um, I, I like to dress nice. The public school teachers dress really casual, but I dress like very nice because 
I want to make that good impression. Okay, so what is the situation at the school like right now during COVID? I didn't even think about that until right now. I think in most other countries, real life school isn't happening or it's not happening every day or it's not happening on this scale. At my school, there's nothing different going on except that the kids wear masks. That is the only difference. I wear, I mean, everyone wears masks. We all wear masks and there's hand sanitizer everywhere. That is the only difference. My classes are huge, like 40 kids in a class. The kids do sports. They had their sports day festival just two days ago. They are just like being normal kids and the lessons are as usual. That's not true for every school in Japan, I don't think. At the moment, like touch wood, but at the moment we are all good. And I'm like very grateful for that because I don't want to take it for granted, this opportunity that one, I am employed during COVID-19, two, that I'm able to do teaching, which I love, three, I get to live in Japan, which has handled the situation very well, and four, my school is functioning like a normal school, and I don't have to teach remotely. So I'm really, really grateful for this opportunity and I, I, I love this job. It has completely changed my lifestyle. It has motivated me to study Japanese harder and more seriously in, in just two weeks of me doing it. So I'm incredibly grateful. I used to go to bed so late and wake up so late. And uh, for my old job, I worked until like 10 p.m. So I couldn't go to sleep until 1 a.m. some nights. But no, like my new job is so much better for my health. I go to bed early, wake up early, get home early, make lunch, make dinner, go to sleep, have time to do a little online teaching on the side and do my YouTube and blog, which I'm excited to get back into because I really needed a break. It was a very stressful, very, it actually feels like an understatement. It was an incredibly stressful time for me the past six months. I felt like I was living in limbo. I didn't know where I was going to live. I didn't know what was next. I didn't know if I was staying in Japan or leaving or how, I just, I'm grateful to have stability in my life again. I hope you enjoyed this little update. I would love to do more videos about it um, in the future. So yeah, let me know if there's anything you wanna know. Please leave a comment or follow my Instagram, send me a message. If there's anything more you want to know about being an ALT or working in Japan right now, living in Japan right now, I will let you know. So, thank you. I'm gonna go call back my friend now. Arigatou gozaimasu. Matane.